Hi, Dave Taylor coming to you again in a continuing series of financial tips. In the previous uh, segment, we talked about pricing jobs and using numbers from your financial statement. Well, if those numbers are no good, then your job pricing is going to be off. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is some of the columns you need to have on your financial statements. Now, the reason I'm going to start with this is because a lot of times your bookkeeper or your accountant does the financial statements and they don't know what you need to do uh, and need to have to run your business properly. So the first column you always have is the item number, right? These are things like sales, cost of sales, overhead, margin, net profit, things like that. The next column you have is actually the dollars, all right? And there's the dollar amount. So that will relate to what the, do, what the amount is for that period, whether it's a month, a quarter, a year, or whatever. And we do recommend you get your income statements at least once a month, and not by the 30th of the next month, at least by the 10th of the previous month. The next percentage is, or next column is percentages. And this column is always a percentage of the top number, right? It's always a percentage of the top number. But it is a percentage. You hear people talking about gross profit, gross margin, net profit, net, uh, net margin. Gross profit is the dollar amount. Net profit is the dollar amount. The margin is the ratio. Now, this might be enough to price your jobs, but to run your business, you need to get a little further. What other columns are you going to have? Maybe a year to date column, right? Our business is up and down, up and down, seasonal. So the year to date column kind of smooths things out. You can see how I'm doing in March. You know, this could be a month by month, but the year to date column smooths some things out. Now, wouldn't you like to know how you're doing compared to last year? Well, another column you may have is last year to date. All right, so that'll tell you how you're doing as opposed to last year. Now, why would you need to know that? Well, if you're a lot less than what you were last year at the time, it allows you to analyze, why did you get here? Why am I doing less? Did I lose some laborers? It, did the economy slow down? What's going on? Because if you're getting these at least on a quarterly basis and you are less than last year, you can make changes. If you get them once a year because your accountant gives it to you for tax purposes, it's too late to make any changes. And if you're in the red, you've lost money. And that's not a good thing. Now, we talked about our business is seasonal. We, uh, we get a lot of business when it's cold or hot out. We get less business in the intermediate or the shoulder seasons. So maybe you'll have another column that's titled rolling 12 months. And what that does is it looks back 12 months. So it kind of evens out the seasonality of the business. Because a lot of times if I look at year to date and it's March, you're probably going to be negative, right? Even last year to date, you might be negative. But if I go back to the previous April, it smooths out those seasonalities and it doesn't get you too anxious that you're losing money. So these are the columns, the minimum columns I'd have on an income statement. These are the columns the big businesses have on an income statement. So to, to mimic those big businesses, those successful HVAC contractors, will become very successful, you've got to know all these things.